Good morning, people of God. I just want to tell you that today is going to be a great day. You got to know it. You got to believe it. I love you. God loves you most importantly. And you got to love yourself. And also, with the um, good morning. And also, how that chicken smell good back there. Y'all got some fresh hot chicken frying in that grease, huh? Yes, ma'am. I smell that thing. It smells good all the way outside. It, it, chicken and grits for breakfast, baby. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so listen, people of God. God loves us. God loves his people. And I want you to not fret for the things that you see going on in the world, people of God. You know, it's very important to God that we have a pure heart. That's why it's written in Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Christ. God wants us to love him first and foremost, but love our brothers and our sisters. And the time that we're living in now, you see people, they love things. That's part of the reason why the world is so evil and corrupt. You know, the modern day Benelli, Satan has twisted the minds of a lot of people to get caught up on things and material things. And a lot of folk love things more than they love people. But when we truly love God, God is going to humble this nation. He has to because of a lot of the things I'm not going to go into. But <clears throat> it's also going to bring the people of God back to a place of humility. Back to a place where we uh, feel good about giving to others and, and sharing what resources we have with others. And meeting a need. That is what the tithe was really all about. You know, meeting the need of God's people, of each of our brothers and sisters. If I have more and you have less and I share some amount with you, now we have equal, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of folks who don't believe that you should bring people up to your level. But listen, that's important to God. Um, so as we see all of this crazy stuff happening, these gas prices that's continuing going up 40 and 50 cents back to back, back to back overnight and stuff like that, um, the only thing we can do is watch as well as pray as we pay attention to what happened in some of these different countries. I think it was, if I'm, I could be mistaken, I read an article, but it was something about people were trying to cut wood to heat there or to, to, to cook on, you know, because wood is a source of fuel. You know, you can, if you got a wood stove, you can use it. Wood keeps you warm. Wood also allows you to cook and stuff like that, right? Um, so some of the people were saying they were reporting people who were cutting wood like people just were going out in different places cutting wood and people were reporting, reporting them to the authorities saying they're cutting on private property and all of that so um, my neighbor had a tree cut down the other day and by the grace of god i was able to see it before the guys came to haul the thing off and they helped me i had a brand new chainsaw they showed me how to use the chainsaw and helped me cut up some pieces for myself and even though i i don't need i don't use wood um but you can always find a, 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 a reason for it, especially we're about to enter this short summer season for us here in the South. We only have like a short summer, I mean, our winter season, which usually starts around December, January. Um, but you never know what somebody near you may need. So I got a lot of it and stored it up because I may have to use that wood to help somebody. You just never know, right? So it's little things like that, being cognizant of not just yourself, but just your fellow brothers and sisters you know uh, we can't take none of this stuff with us in that in that, in that other to that next life jesus already went to prepare a place he said in my father's house there are many mansions you know so he's already gone to prepare a place for us what from this world from this life can we take now we are to be good stewards of what god has given us and we manage our resources and things wisely but we're not supposed to fall in love with the things of this world you know so anyway, that's just my little truth and that's just what I want to share. Be positive, be loving, always have yourself in mind, think ahead of the game, think self-sufficiency, you know, but also think out, think, um, um, keep, be mindful of your fellow brothers and sisters. We need each other now more than ever, you know, we need each other's strength, um, you know, and that's how it should be, that's how it should have been, you know, <laughs> you, when you see folk killing one another, that's a that brother... A real brother will never kill his own brother. A real sister will never try to destroy her own sister when you know who you are. That's lost folk doing these things because they don't know who they are. But when you really know who you are and you come into Yah, a real daughter and son of Yah will never try to destroy one of their own. Mm -mm. Because the greatest gift of all is love. And those who know Yah, they understand the love principle. Anyway, that's just my little two cents. Let me get out here. Y'all have a blessed day. It's going to be a... 
a beautiful morning. Whatever you got to do, baby, when you start early, you can finish early. Or you can just take your time. Have a blessed day. I love you. You are the light of the world. There's only one of you in this whole wide world. Don't ever let that light go dark. You got to keep shining bright. Keep encouraging. Keep teaching. Keep loving. Keep motivating. Most importantly, keep showing up because you do matter. I love you. Have a blessed day.